This is the Louisiana Superstation LCN. I have a very interesting guest with us today on Accent LA. He's uh, State Representative Ernest Wooten from District 105. Welcome. How Thank you, you doing? very much. Good to see you. Appreciate good it. To have you. Good to have you. Elections coming up, man. But before we get to, you're you're running for what now? United States Senate. The United States Senate. So we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. But first of all, tell me a little bit about yourself. What family? Where, well, where are you from? I'm from Belchase, Louisiana. Oh, that's down there, down by the parish. Right, huh? that District 105 okay. is all of Plaquemine, part of Jefferson, and part of St. Charles. Okay. I'm married. Mm -hmm. Linda Wooten, retired school teacher, 33 years. We've been married 43 years. Congratulations. Thank you. We've got uh, three wonderful children, 10 grandchildren. Uh huh. All live locally. Two live in Belchase, one lives in Metairie. So, uh, Staying we in see Louisiana. Them, we, we see them constantly. We're great. very fortunate in that respect. Great. great. I was born in Plaquemine Parish, raised in Plaquemine Parish, and I live there. Wonderful. Good people down there. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Very brave people with the uh, oh, threat of hurricanes yeah. and the oil spill and the moratorium y'all have been through a lot now i think that's what we're going to talk about today too a little bit of your platform and uh ernest first of all we have quite a few you're running for for congress house of representatives no, no sir. senate senate united, I'm sorry, states, senate united states senate that's 100 of them for our listeners yes, sir. there's 100 senators in the united states senate we have a lot of a, a lot of candidates running in this in this race and of course there's two known candidates, real known candidates. Tell me how you're going to get in there. What, what are you, what, well, what, I'm a little better known than you'd realize. I, well, I know that. I know that. No, and I'll but, tell you. I'll okay. tell you how and why. Uh -huh. You know, <clears throat> I served eight years as sheriff. That's right. Okay, I've stayed active with the sheriff's association, okay. and I am presently in the House of Representatives in my twelfth year. Wow. And I am chairman of the legislature. I mean, of the uh, administrative. Administration of Criminal Justice Committee. We work with law enforcement all over the state, mm -hmm. all branch. We work with the state police, the DAs, the sheriffs, the chiefs, mm -hmm. the judges association, everything. So I have wonderful rank, name recognition sure. statewide. I'm I not an mean, I didn't even mean to, to, to No, bring no, it, no. To, to bring, I'm glad you called me one of the yeah. unknown. Yeah. I'm, well, <laughs> I, I don't really like to be associated with those other two. Yes. But, uh, Hey, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> so, what? This is this is a very important race that we're going into. Uh, a very, very, uh, very contested race, yes. so to speak. How many people are running in this? Well, and you're there, for a senator. There are eight or nine independents, one libertarian, and. Mr. Vitter and Mr. Melanson, a Republican and a Democrat, who have been through the primary, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, primary process and uh, I got in it because I'm dissatisfied I'm dissatisfied with Washington period oh yeah yes I, I, I'm I'm frightened yeah a lot you of know, things going on that, that, that are yeah. they're against probably your principles and the right the left the administration they all kind of frighten me. yeah yeah you know particularly the administration uh, the two-party system was founded with you know as, as checks and balances mm-hmm now it's checks versus checks. Mm -hmm. The Democrat pack checks versus Republican pack checks. <laughs> if you don't vote with your party, you don't get the pack checks, so your chances of re-election are nil. Now we're touching on a pack. Pack is political action, action committee for yes, the people sir. out there that don't understand that, right? Now, right. What, are, what do these political action committees do? You're saying checks. Tell me about that a little bit. They finance campaigns. Okay. Basically what they do. And I can... Take money from a PAC, okay? Okay. I've, I've gotten one PAC check. Okay. I can take money from an individual, but they've eliminated corporations. All okay, right. they've, they've buffered themselves is what they've done because sure. there are so many PACs in the Washington area. Mr. Vitter says he has $11 million to spend. Isn't that vulgar? That's amazing. You and know, and, and, and Mr. Melanson has the Democratic Party. He has 5 or $6 million mm -hmm. plus the unions behind him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got boots on the ground. That's good. I've got a reputation. Yeah. I've got character. Sure. And that's what we're depending on. I'm depending on a website. I'm depending on social networking. I'm not a techie, but I will be when this election is <laughs> over. With. Okay. Let's talk about social networking for people out there, that for, our, for our, 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 our watchers out there. Social networking would be Twitter, 
Facebook, that kind of thing. Yes, sir. All right. And also, you said your website. Let's talk, what about your website? My website is www.wooten, with an O, W-O-O-T-O-N, uh -huh. ussenate.com. Okay, we'll put that on the bottom of the screen for you. Okay. okay, thank you very much. No and I'm asking people to go to my website, mm -hmm. take a look and a listen. Okay. Find out about Ernest Wooten. Okay. Okay. My message is you do have a choice. Right. You don't have to vote for one of the two that are battering each other on, on the television. Okay. Okay. You can pay attention and you have a choice, a legitimate choice. Mm -hmm. I'm a common sense man. You know, I ask people, don't take my word for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Call your elected officials. Call your sheriff. Call all of these caucuses in the state. Yes, sir. Check my character. There you go. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm I'm open. I'm an open book. Mm -hmm. My reputation in Baton Rouge is everybody refers to me as sheriff. I'm a former sheriff. That's amazing. Okay, <laughs> they all call me sheriff, and they, you know, they say, "Go ask the sheriff; he'll tell you the truth." And that's uh -huh. what I'm depending on here. Uh -huh. I got to get the word out. Okay, and that's what we that's what we got yes, to hear. Yes, sir, and y'all are helping me tremendously one of my big things uh, with senators representatives even all the way up to the, the white house is service you you've got military prior military service behind yes sir you. isn't that correct i served from 1964 to 1966 in uh -huh. the united states army in the signal corps uh -huh. i was a teacher of photography i went to a school i did well in the school they kept me as an instructor uh -huh. and i sent a lot of young men to vietnam that did that did not return yeah. and uh, it was a period in our history that but oops. but this gives you a little bit more background I, I would assume and and if if we have to vote on a a, a war or a defense a, a defense tactic somewhere down the line yeah. if you get in the senate you're able to have that voice and you have that experience behind you well you i have a little on. insight I, I i was there i did it i i, I right. never saw combat right. i was fortunate god right. bless me mm -hmm. and uh but yeah i think military military services is, is very important yeah yeah what, what do we look forward to? Uh, it, well, I guess you can't. I think one of the big things right now, and, and you and I didn't talk about this off the air, just hit, hit me on the, top, on the top of my mind, is the health bill, the health reform bill. What's your feelings on that? What are your feelings on I that? I was very disappointed when it was passed in the first place. Uh -huh. And I would vote tomorrow, today, right yeah, now, to yeah. repeal Obamacare, as it's so-called. Right. We need health care reform in this country, okay. but we don't need what's in this bill. Mm -hmm. And in particular, we don't need what's hidden in this bill. In the Senate, this, you know, there's no such thing as germaneness yes, sir. To, a, to a bill. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can amend anything to any bill. Okay. If it passes, in other it's part of the legislation. If I, if I want to put an amendment in there to give my wife $50,000 a month and it goes through, it's part of the bill. Ah, okay. But she's worth more than that. <laughs> That's great. What and back and on this bill and I, it can can it be repealed or can can you put how can I've heard news the elections are as predicted with the conservatives gaining control of the house. Yes, it can be repealed. I'm running as an independent. Okay. Right. I was a d Democrat for years. I was born in the 1940s in South Louisiana. Everybody was a you Democrat. You had to be, yes, sir. I got kind of fed up with the Democratic Party, and I was a Republican for six years. Mm -hmm. When I decided to qualify here, I told my wife, I said, I've got to change to independent or no party because I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not satisfied with what the right. I am conservative in nature. Yes, sir. I am a, when I was a Democrat, I was a conservative. Mm -hmm. They're going to say I voted for taxes. Yes, I did. I was a Democrat. That was 2000 or 2001. Right. Okay, but I've always been pro-life. I've always been pro-gun. I'm the gun man. That's what they call me in the legislature. <laughs> the sheriff gun man. Okay. Yeah, I'm the gun. I'm the Constitution. Okay. Okay. We've gotten away from what our forefathers intended uh -huh. for the Constitution to be. Okay. That's interesting because I have I was I was looking on a list on on the on the web before I even had you come in here and it says what does it mean to be a conservative and you hit on about four out of the ten that are on this list right there so uh, and I think that 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 gives people an idea of what your what your voting process will be when I'll, you get elected. I'll caucus with the conservatives. Yes, sir. 
-hmm. There's no there's no doubt about that. But mm -hmm. I, I think we're at a time in American history, we're at a time in American politics in particular, when we need independent voices. Okay, okay? when we need common sense in government. Right. right. And I can provide that. I I, I, I can I can do it. I yes, mean I, I, I there's no backup in earnest. <laughs> okay. Great. I, great. I don't I don't move backwards and I just need the chance. I, I just go. need the chance. You know, my, my two major opponents, in my opinion, focus too much on each other. And we're going to hold it right there. We're going to talk about that in just a minute when we come back, okay? Yes, sir. And when we come back, we're going to talk to Ernest Wooten, state representative who is running for Senate. So you hang tight right here on Accent LA.